Welcome to News Today with Universal Parks News Today. I'm Annie Wilson. Today I have a desk. And here is the news for April 16th, 2024. Experience the adventure. Islands of Adventure turns 25 next month on May 28th, and now there's some brand new anniversary merchandise available to celebrate. The collection features art reminiscent of old merchandise that highlights the original five lands. Jurassic Park, Seuss Landing, Marvel Superhero Island, Toon Lagoon, and the Lost Continent. The park icon, Pharos Lighthouse, is on the right side, along with the original Islands of Adventure logo. Jurassic Park is represented by the T-Rex from Jurassic Park River Adventure, and a boat from the ride can be seen going through the iconic park gates. Seuss Landing is featured with art of Cat in the Hat and the truffle trees from the Lorax. For Marvel Superhero Island, both the Hulk and Doctor Doom's Fearfall are in the background while Spider-Man swings across the frame. Dudley Do-Right is in front of his namesake, Dudley Do-Right's Ripsaw Falls for the Toon Lagoon art. Dueling Dragons represents the Lost Continent, which used to include an area called Merlinwood. That area is now the wizarding world of Harry Potter Hogsmeade. The artwork is featured on a red shirt available for $27. An anniversary logo is on the sleeve using the original Universal's Islands of Adventure name with 25 years underneath. A red tumbler featuring the same artwork is also available for $27. There's a limited edition pin available for $15. The anniversary artwork is featured against a black background on the pin. And finally, a black zip up hoodie is available for $55. The hoodie has the artwork on the back, while the front features the anniversary logo. The collection is available at Islands of Adventure Trading Company in Port of Entry and at the Universal Studio Store in CityWalk. Welcome to Skull Island, Reign of Kid. A guest visiting Universal Islands of Adventure at Universal Orlando Resort was spotted climbing to the top of the Skull Island, Reign of Kong attraction sign to pose for a photo. The entrance to the ride makes a great photo op, but one family took it to the extreme. The young guest was spotted climbing all the way to the top of the Skull Island Reign of Kong sign to pose for a photo being taken by the family down below. The entrance to the attraction is surrounded by large, jagged rocks that are covered in torches and skulls and is not designed to be climbed. In the video, the family of the guest appears to be encouraging the behavior as he climbs to the top of the sign. The video also stirred up reactions from fellow theme park fans who have been giving their takes on the guests and their family's actions. Now, I was the one that filmed this. I was walking up and I saw the kids starting to climb and I was thinking, there's no way he's going to get very far. Somebody is going to tell him to get down. And then I noticed the adults are encouraging him to keep going. And I'm watching this and I, I'm, I can't believe it. And, you know, first of all, it's a huge safety concern. You don't even really know what that structure is made of. I mean, is it, you know, is it going to support somebody's weight? It's not designed for anybody to be up there. There's torches that are on fire, so there's that going on. There's just so many things that could have gone wrong with this whole scenario. And watching the adults below that are just kind of taking the picture and kind of laughing and encouraging it, that's what really shocked me. So, you know, I have a lot of opinions on that, but I'd love to hear some of yours. <laughs> the UOAP buttons are making a return this year. Universal Orlando Resort teased pass holder bonus benefits coming back this May, including the return of UOAP buttons. The annual pass holder page of the Universal Orlando Resort website states pass holder bonus benefits will be available from May 1st through the 24th with perks like a special entrance, exclusive dining locations, special discounts, and more. Universal has also announced the return of the pass holder button for select events throughout the year. Universal Orlando Resort hasn't offered pass holder exclusive buttons since 2021. Instead, they've given out other exclusive items like magnets, lanyards, and even art prints. The small buttons usually featured a minimalist design on a UOAP backing card. More details about UOAP buttons and pass holder bonus benefits will be available soon. The Shea Alcatraz Bar at Universal Studios Florida is now closed and surrounded by construction walls. This fan favorite bar is being refurbished, but you can still find your favorite bartenders at a temporary location. The temporary Shea Alcatraz bar is set up in the San Francisco area next to the construction walls. The menu includes the Jaws-inspired Ocean Attack and Bruce cocktails, 
and the Alcatraz prison-inspired cocktails Escape and the Alcatraz. The dock is also open so guests can access the JAWS photo op. No word on how long the refurbishment will take, but it's nice to have a temporary version of Shea Alcatraz available until it's completed. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, Be Our Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with Be Our Guest Vacations and their concierge team of expert vacation planners. The best part is their concierge services are 100% free. Head over to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT and the team will design your next epic vacation from Universal Parks to Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resorts, Disney Cruise Line, Virgin Voyages, Royal Caribbean, and more. Halloween Horror Nights dates have been officially announced for Universal Studios Florida. The event will run from August 30th through November 3rd and tickets and tours are on sale now. Single night tickets use a date-based pricing scale and start at $82.99. For comparison, last year's starting price was $79.99. At this time, multi-night tickets are not available. Those passes typically go on sale later in the summer. Express passes are available starting at $129.99 per person with variable date-based pricing. RIP tours are also available for booking. The RIP tour is basically a structured VIP tour and gives you a tour guide and direct front-of-the-line access to each of the houses and shows. Regular RIP tours combine your party with others, starting at $359.99 per person. A private RIP tour gives your party of up to 10 people the ability to choose the itinerary and allows unlimited RIP access to the haunted houses, among other perks. You can read our full review of the RIP tours and more details on tickets over on our site. Tickets are now available for this year's Unmasking the Horror Tours, with tours beginning before the start of the event. Unmasking the Horror Tours give guests a behind-the-scenes look at some of the houses. Tours begin on Sunday, August 11th for the Three House Tour, which is 19 days before the start of Halloween Horror Nights on August 30th. Offering the Three House Unmasking the Horror Tour in August will give fans an early look into some of this year's haunted houses before the start of Halloween Horror Nights, something that has never been done before. Ticket prices start at $99 per person. The six house tours will kick off on August 31st, the day after the event begins, and prices start at $179.99 per person. Tours will be offered on select days through the end of the event, November 3rd, 2024. Now, I have a lot of thoughts on them starting this Unmasking the Horror Tour before the event. It's almost three weeks before the actual event starts. And usually with these tours, they allow photos inside. So if you're not wanting spoilers, you're really going to have to avoid probably the Internet. And I'm in a lot of Halloween Horror Nights groups and things like that. So if I was trying to avoid these, I'd have to stay out of the groups for like the three weeks before the event. And there are a lot of people that will love seeing the houses early, and I know everyone is a big fan of the Unmasking the Horror Tours. They're really popular. But for people that don't want spoilers, this is not the greatest thing. Um, I'm going to be going the first day, and I'm already kind of concerned because I know at the event I'll have already seen the houses with the lights on inside. I'll know where some of, like, the, the boo holes and things are and where some of, you know, the scares are going to come from. So I don't know if that's going to lessen my experience on opening night by doing the tour early. Um, I think it's a bit of a cash grab. Last year they did Taste of Terror, which I thought was a great event. It allowed you to purchase a ticket early to have unlimited Halloween Horror Nights food, but I know that that probably was not as profitable as taking guests through, you know, an uh, empty haunted house during the day. So I know that we've seen Universal trying to make a lot of money here and there. Um, this is a great idea. So whoever came up with it, that was a brilliant idea. But for me, I'm not really looking forward to the spoilers. Universal Orlando Resort has begun to roll out the first batch of merchandise for Halloween Horror Nights 33. The collection has a neon aesthetic with bright oranges, greens, and blues. Where Horror Lives is graffitied across the front. There's definitely some 80s, 90s vibes going on here. The first item is a neon orange t-shirt that reads Where Horror Lives. The shirt features the Universal Studios Florida arch with a Halloween Horror Nights 2024 sign. The design is very loud with bright skulls, palm trees, and spray-painted pumpkins all over. The shirt is $33.
If you aren't feeling the bright orange, a new black shirt is now available with the same artwork. The black shirt is also $33. There's a black ball cap with the Where Horror Lives logo and the same design as the t-shirt. The hat is $30. Finally, a travel tumbler with a black background and neon details rounds out the collection. Where Horror Lives is written on one side and the Universal Studios Florida Arch is on the opposite side. All of the merchandise can be found in the Five and Dime at Universal Studios Florida, the All Hallows Eve Boutique at Islands of Adventure, and on the Universal Orlando website. Cinnabon and Quiet Flight Surf Shop in CityWalk will both be closed permanently this month to make space for new experiences. Cinnabon and Quiet Flight are right next to each other, just past the Universal Cinemark, and are in a prime location. Quiet Flight's last day of operation was on April 14th. A sign has gone up in the window that reads, After 25 years of an amazing journey, Quiet Flight Surf Shop is now closed. Thank you to everyone for the support. Cinnabon's last day in their current CityWalk location will be April 28th. Sources indicate that Cinnabon will be available from Fresh Eats in the Security Hub, and more Cinnabon carts will be scattered around CityWalk. A new kiosk is expected to open near Margaritaville within the next few months. You can also find Cinnabon inside Islands of Adventure. Universal Orlando has not announced what will take over this space in CityWalk, so stay tuned. On our most recent visit to Universal Studios Hollywood, we stopped by the Power Up Cafe to try some of their new Super Nintendo-themed snacks. Power Up Cafe offers snacks and drinks themed to the four different Power Ups. The menu is completely different from Toadstool Cafe and offers a Super Mushroom Calzone, 1-Up Calzone, Fire Flower Pretzel, and Superstar Popcorn. There are also four different drinks, each with its own Power Up to change the color and flavor of the drink. Our favorite item here was the Super Mushroom Calzone. The calzones and pretzels are all served in packages themed to the yellow question block boxes. One side of the box has a clear window so you can see your snack peeking out. Packed full of delicious pizza filling, we felt that the Super Mushroom Calzone was the best item on the menu. If you've ever had a pizza skull from Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando, this is very similar. The filling goes all the way to the edges and throughout the entire calzone. Every bite is packed full of pepperoni and sausage pizza filling. It's a little pricey at $13, but it's a decent sized snack. The Super Mushroom Calzone is easy to eat on the go, so it's an all-around winner. We also tried some of the Power Up Fizz drinks. The Power Up Fizzy drinks start off with a lemon-lime soda base and are all served in a plastic Power Up themed cup. Each drink comes with a matching Power Up paper straw. The Superstar was our favorite of the ones we tried. We couldn't tell at first, but there's actually a layer of popping pearls at the bottom. The lemon lime soda with the lemon popping pearls gets taken to the next level when you add the mango pineapple superstar. When you drop your power up in and start stirring, the color and flavor of the drink will change. The pineapple and mango flavors of the superstar were light, but very refreshing. Surprisingly, these drinks aren't too sweet despite dropping in what is essentially a sugar cube. The pineapple stands out the most, giving the drink a nice tropical feel. The $13 price tag is a little high for these drinks, but we would still order them again for a special treat. You can read our full review from Power Up Cafe over on our site. As part of the Studio Tour 60th anniversary celebration, Universal Studios Hollywood announced a new food and beverage dining pass. The 60th anniversary dining pass includes choice of two eligible entree items and four eligible dessert, snack, side, or beverage items. The card is striped red and white, like the Universal Studios Glamour Trams, with the 60th anniversary logo in the center. The dining pass will be available for purchase at participating food and beverage locations, and will be valid only on the day of purchase. Eligible menu items will be designated by a Studio Tour 60th anniversary logo on the menu boards. The price for the dining pass has not been announced yet. The Studio Tour's 60th anniversary celebration will run from April 26th through August 11th, 2024. You can support the entire team behind this show and others by joining the WDWNT Inner Globe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. A special shout out to all the WIGS members watching who make this show happen every week. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to UniversalParksNewsToday.com. 
If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Universal Parks News Today on YouTube for more great content, click the bell for notifications, and make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of News Today with Universal Parks News Today. For UPNT, this is Annie Wilson saying, the future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one.